coach training um, with a couple of things I want to work on um, for that individual session. You've got to have a, quite a clear mind going into training to get benefits out of it rather than just turning up and going through the motions, the same old thing every day. Depends what session it is, whether it's just out from the game or it's a, a big session, you know, that main session, two days out from the game. Um, it's, it's quite full on and 100% intensity, so that's how the Australian cricket team trains and that's it every time we go out there. I think as a collective group we work quite well together. Whether it's talking about batsmen or what we're trying to do or what shot we want the batter to play, it's all really good to communicate together and you know, pick pieces off other bowlers as well as the bowling coach. So if you're looking down at those guys at the other end, they're, they're going about their business, um, you know, trying to simulate that game as well. So whenever the, the quicks are at the top of the mark, they've got the plans and in place for that specific batter and try and execute down the other end. moments in the game I think where you know, your instinct takes over and you've trained that instinct over a long period of time in the training nets um, and brought that into the game and um, just takes over once you're out there. Hazelwood's got AMR again. I think it's just about that hard work with the guys, doing it all together, ticking those boxes together as a group. And get training as close to playing the game as possible, it's very important. 